This is how I make a bowie knife. First thing I do is I begin with a piece of 5160 spring steel. This is 12 inches long by an inch and a half wide. Bend, blade side allows me to draw it out. You will see it begin to straighten. And I want to flip it over and get that tang hot. So I just want to start getting that formed out here. I'm going to draw it all the way out to seven inches for a six inch handle. See that now? I've been working on this for a while. That's about as far as I'm going to go with this for now. I want to go ahead and work my, my blade again so that it's easier to orient that tank. I'll file some shape to it where I need it. But there's a bit more to do with the forging. You can see that really starts to take on that classic bully shape. But I'll file a little bit. And once the blade is finished, it's time to start working on the guard. This guard is iron. Um, started with a piece of iron from a, an old bridge circa 1870. Heat it up, cut it down to something about this size, and then from there I'm going to make my pommel and guard blanks. Keep checking my center line as I draw this out, leaving it fat in the middle. Taking today just on the guard. That's pretty awesome. As you can see, I don't, I don't order any parts when I make a knife. I all the pieces to a knife. I make, I fabricate, and then all the pieces just come together. So for the handle, I use in this case it's moose. I use a moose handler, um, or I'll use elk, depending on the knife and the client. Um, usually take it from here. It's the elk, um, and then what I do is. I do drill a pilot hole and then burn the tank through for a custom fit and then paint it through the pommel. Um, so that's, that's basically how the knife comes together.